How to place a test order on Shopify 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify and e-commerce tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be seeing how you can place a test order or a page that is purely for test purposes on your Shopify. And uh, it's going to be very easy. The whole purpose of a test order page is to find out what the customer uh, will see. And according to that, the owner, which is going to be you, will optimize the page. So because, you know, everyone likes a good old user friendly interface. So I'm going to discuss all of that in this video and I'm going to go through all the depths and I'm going to give you all the information that you need. So just sit back, relax and listen to all of the instructions that I have to give you till the end of the video. And I guarantee you that if you hear me out properly by every detail, you're going to know how to add a test order page on Shopify. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first of all, what we're going to want to do is obviously we're going to go to our Shopify. So it's Shopify.com. Now, if you're not familiar with how Shopify works, this is basically Shopify. This is the interface Shopify has now. As you can see, this is a very user friendly interface and this is what we're going to be working on with our test page. So just get yourself familiarized with how Shopify is and how it works. Then if you already have an account, you're going to go with login or you can just go with start a free trial. Now, if you go with start a free trial, you can either obviously pick a plan or go with a free trial and just know this that in the free trials, uh, you're just going to have to sign up with an email. Now, once you sign up with an email like I have right now, then they're going to ask you to create a store. So I'm going to go on create another store. And over here, I'm going to name my store. Just just name it random. Let's name it test order. I'm just going to add something gibberish so it's not taken. Now, once you add that, then what it's going to do is it's going to create your store. It's going to do a bit of a loading. So we're just going to wait for it to load up properly. Now, once it loads, it's going to take us to this optimization section where it's going to uh, give us a few MCQs or multiple choice questions where we're going to have to fill in uh, in order to tell the Shopify servers what our page really revolves around. So here we are. It says, tell us a little about yourself. So are you already selling? Please choose one. So from these, you can choose. I'm just playing around. I'm not selling products yet. I'm selling just not online. I sell with a different system. I'm just going to go with I'm just playing around right now because I this is only for educational purposes. Now, in addition to your Shopify store, where would you like to sell online? Now, obviously, you have to take any one of these. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't have any. What is your current revenue? You're going to put in your revenue or you can just right in this i'm just getting started which industry will you be operating at make sure to choose the correct industry because according to that obviously it will optimize all the users that will come to you and your page etc so let's say it's clothing and once you do that okay one brief information that i left out you can skip this step but just make sure you do it in my opinion because it just makes life a lot easier for you so once you've done that you're going to click on next once you do that, it's going to start asking your address. Now you're going to put in your address and just make sure to put in an address because according to that, it's an address where you can get paid. Uh, this will be used as your default business address. And over here, your paychecks or any type of different bonus or salary you get is going to come unless you don't have any credit card or bank account, have the money transferred to. So you can also take the store as registered business if you have a registered business according to your government. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click on enter my store and there we go. Your store is going to be successfully created. It's just going to take you a bit to load and it's going to load you up into the Shopify dashboard. Now, once we're in the dashboard, I'm just going to wait for it to load up into it. Once we're in it, I'm going to show you the basics of Shopify and then I'm going to take you to the main topic of the video. That is how to add a test order page on Shopify. So now that we're here on our desktop, what we're going to do is first of all, obviously get yourself familiarized. This is the whole dashboard. Uh, first of all, it's going to ask you to set up and complete your page. So just make sure to do that. Uh, because being fully customized best as it is and after you've done that in the left hand side you can see there, there are different uh, categories and different ribbons and options to select from here the, these are obviously your tools 
to run your Shopify page. Now, once you get yourself fully set it up, you can also take the setup guide, which is Shopify's very own setup guide. It's very helpful and very useful. You can check it out if you want to, or if you want to ask any questions from me, you can ask them in the comments down below and I will answer them straight away. Now, let's get into how you can add a test order page. Now, before starting on that, I need to tell you two things. Uh, the first thing uh, is that you know, you're gonna need to have an upgraded plan this test order um, feature does not work on a free plan. They don't have that feature on the free plan yet. Obviously, you're going to need to upgrade it. And once you upgrade it, you're going to make sure that you have the payment methods properly set it up and secured because obviously after that only you can send a test order. So uh, let's get into the test order business. Now, first of all, you're going to go to settings. Now, once you go in settings, you're going to go to the payments option. Uh, once you're at the payments option, you're obviously going to either choose a provider or add payment methods. Or you can select any of these. Obviously, over here, you're going to see Shopify payments once your plan is properly upgraded or you've chosen a provider for yourself. So let's say you go choose a provider. You're going to go to your country. Uh, let's say you're going to choose any country of yours and you can see all these different providers like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, some have Discover, some have JCB, some have Diners Club. You can go with any of these. It's very, it's just very basic. So once you've gone with any of these, you're going to get your payment methods set it up. Then you're going to go with your support payment methods. You can put in however many. And once you've done all that, what you're going to need to do is obviously once you have an upgraded plan, you're obviously going to make your page. And how do you make your page? You're going to go on your online store. You're going to go in pages. And once you go in pages, you're going to make a page, obviously, because that's where you're going to test your order. So make sure you have a proper page. Oh, for that, all you need to do is you're going to click on add page. And once you click on add page from there on out, you can make your pages, make your blog posts by coming over here. You can make different navigation preference settings from here. And after that, uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go back in settings. And once you're here, what, what you're going to need to do is again, come back to payments. And once you're in payments, all you need to do is where it says Shopify payments, you're going to click on manage over there. It's going to say Shopify payments over here once you properly set it up. And in the top right, it's going to say manage. Then you're going to click on manage and you're going to scroll to the bottom where it's going to say test page or test payments or test order. It's going to say one of those. You're just going to check box it. It's going to ask your phone number for your confirmation. And once you do that, your page will become a test page. And after that, what you're going to do is you're just going to take the link off your, let's say, online store page uh, as like this is my link. So if this were to be a test page and I would have products over here, I can easily order them. And this is basically I'm going to be a customer to my own page because it's a test page. So what I can do is I'm going to scout it out. I'm going to look at it. And as a customer, I can see that I can click on different features and, you know, I can find out the disadvantages that my page has. So I can look through all of that from the view of uh, a genuine customer. I can also go to the payments. I can order a product. It doesn't literally order your product, but it gives you the whole interface of how the customer is going to be served when they order the product. So once you look at all that, according to that, you can make changes to your page. And that is how easy and simple it is to place a test order on Shopify. So that was all from me and I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. I will make more for you. And if you want to see more Shopify or e-commerce tutorials, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.